One particularly beneficial feature of this solution is the method that's used for synchronization. The user has complete control over when to adjust the servos based on their positions relative to the master encoder. Let's take a look at the master encoder first. This component oscillates with a ring value according to the cam's pulses per revolution and is referred to as the main shaft side current value within one revolution. When the clutch is closed, the servo axis follows this oscillating pattern from the encoder, which brings us to the bottom part of the drawing, the servo axis output module. This oscillating value is referred to as the cam current value within one revolution. In the phase drawing here, you'll see that the main shaft side value does not match the cam value since they are out of phase with each other. This can happen when a clutch opens suddenly and the drive or output module continues to move or is commanded to move by the operator. In order to realign the system, the phase difference is calculated and then used as a correction value for each servo axis. While the master encoder is not moving and the main clutch is open, an auxiliary virtual servo motor, shown on the bottom left, is used to realign the servo. This routine is applied whenever one or more axes become misaligned and are commanded to move based on a start operation from the operator on the GOT. The synchronization routine continuously checks the relationship between the master encoder and each of the slave servo axes in the background. If the encoder becomes misaligned with the position of a servo axis or vice versa, a lamp on the GOT turns on to signal that the system is out of sync. At that point, the user can choose to stop all operations and then bring the system back into alignment. Each servo axis moves forward to correct its position relative to the encoder. When the synchronization routine is called by the user, all clutches change to direct mode clutches. Next, the phase difference is calculated for each servo axis. The auxiliary virtual servo motors are then commanded to move an incremental distance to correct the phase difference and resynchronize the system. The GT1555 graphic operation terminal complements the high-speed multi-axis feeder solution with easy-to-configure screens for operator control. A screen has been set up for parameter configuration that directly interfaces with the PLC CPU in the IQ rack. This screen can be used to change machine settings in terms of how many pieces per minute are needed, how large the material is, and how fast the VFD should accelerate and decelerate. Likewise, a screen has been created for synchronizing the servo axes with the master encoder, homing all the axes, resetting the system, and monitoring for errors. Another screen is used to monitor the speed and RPM of the master and slave axes. In summary, the solution provided by Mitsubishi Electric highlights three key features that boost productivity and bring significant advantages and benefits to the end user. The IQ platform multi-CPU system increases throughput and thus improves the overall equipment effectiveness. The full synchronization of feeder axes routine reduces machine downtime, reduces waste material, and improves overall machine performance. The flexible HMI interface brings a customizable and visual solution for easier troubleshooting and better consolidated control management. Alternative motion solutions available from Mitsubishi Electric include the Q172DCPU and Q170MCPU motion controllers. The Q172DCPU can be used for control of up to eight servo axes, which reduces the cost for machines with fewer feeders. The Q170MCPU 16-axis standalone motion controller can be used in a similar way and includes a built-in PLC. This controller also offers flexible built-in options for mark sensor registration, which may be extremely beneficial in applications where card placement accuracy on the sorter axis is more critical. Instead of the E700 inverter for controlling the unloading conveyor, a D700 or F700 inverter can be used instead. This provides an alternative network connection or simple control via an external analog or digital signal. For further information on the Mitsubishi Electric solution for high-speed multi-axis feeder machines, material can be found in five separate components. A double-page quick reference guide, a detailed application note, complete programming files, images and movies, and this presentation. 
All of this material is available on the MEAU website at www.meau.com. Just click on the Industry Solutions link to find your way to the material. And that brings me to the end of this Application Solutions webinar. I would like to thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation.